I'll watch some TV. It'll help me to relax! <laughs> Welcome back to the Ren and Stimpy recap. Last week we talked about Superstitious Stimpy and today we are taking a look at Travelog. And with these hands I hold the fate of millions. Well, this is certainly a title card. I'm not gonna hate it, it looks fine. Uh, actually I like the imagery, the color combination and the font altogether. Just wish it had a bit more character, like characters, on it. I like the music though. Hello, folks! Stimpy says they are gonna visit the lost continent of uh, Acroniglia. I'm confused, this isn't Untamed World, but I think it should be. Like, I'm, I'm confused. Gear for a hazardous journey such as this. And with that in mind, we now go to the most important outlet for such gear. What is up with the lip syncing here? It looks really weird whatever, uh, whenever any of the two talk. They get their wigs and return to the not untamed uh, world studio. Only the most useless of necessities. Things that are hard to come by in foreign countries, such as various forms of processed meats. Stimpy starts packing wieners, which is just as hilarious now as it was in Wiener Barons. Then he gets chewed chewing gum from under a chair. I feel like it could have been nose goblins instead. It's time to load them up on... The Wildebeest! The two ride on the Wildebeest to the airport and get on their plane. These are the other passengers. That's kind of really dark. Stimpy starts eating this really gross sandwich and it gets all over Ren, who turns green and passes out. We see some good shots with the plane on the outside. Come out to greet us! That's a diverse group of townspeople, I think I saw like a Roman guy in there. They start shooting with missiles, which makes uh, Ren giggle, thinking it's just welcoming fireworks. The plane starts falling and crashes. Ren gets out and is greeted by having stuff thrown at him and uh, being called an American pig. Early good fish, get coming from the Archie. Thank you, thank you. We feel very honored indeed. Ren gets hit by the club. I think I missed something in the beginning. Um, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be an American colony, but I'm not 100%. That would explain why they don't like Ren and Stimpy though. Welcoming ceremonies. First, the hot head plunge. <laughs> they end up looking like this, which is pretty funny. Next, they are carried like they are in a parade, uh, as it's now time for the back shaving ceremony. I like to go swimming with bow legged women. This guy starts scrubbing Stimpy's back and then pulls out the blade to scrape Ren's back, which looks really painful. Stimpy likes it though. The result ain't too bad to be honest, I expected worse. Soup! <laughs> Monkey brain soup? No. I can't eat that! Same. Ren says that while it may seem repulsive, it's their duties as guests in a foreign land to get a taste of their cultural fare. <laughs> ah, just the reaction the locals had hoped for. Next, Ren eats it, but the locals don't seem too impressed, uh, since Ren does a very weak little barf. So he tries again, fortunately finding a hair in his soup, which makes him really puke. 
No trip to Acromeglia would be complete without... Taxi! A tour of the local points of interest. They get to the docks where the country cultivates and exports a new American. Kind of interestingly, actually we see here uh, that they are like crops being harvested and sorted and stuff. It's kind of a fun concept. Smoked and aged. Next they go to the country's main attraction, Old Faithful. How much you wanna bet that this is gonna be uh, Wilbur Cobb? A natural hot geezer right here in the city square. Gosh! You know... It actually ain't Wilbur. He froze up all over Ren, however, who now looks like this. Next we see the two once again driving the car in pretty much the exact same setup they have shown twice already. Disgrace land! This palatial estate was built by our nation's founder. So this is apparently a monument to bad taste. The Elvis guy says that the grounds are guarded by the country's most sacred animal, the baboon. <laughs> Great to see the baboon return. Didn't think we would see him until season 5 actually, but here he is. He grabs part of Ren's face and runs away with it, throwing it onto a tree where there horrifyingly is already another face. Oh, he must truly be blessed. Should be quick. Ren and the baboon take a picture together, and then we cut to the two standing in front of this cool looking castle, as Ren says it's Revolution Day. Ren hilariously says that each year the locals celebrate the famous revolution by holding another revolution. We are honored to witness an ancient ritual where every movement has a meaning. And every participant has a movement. The new dictator walks up to shake hand with the king. Then they wave to the mob for like half the episode. As Ren and Stimpy give deadpan commentary, it's kind of funny. Zazu is looking good today. Zazu at the top of his form. The two end their show with their heads next to the king, and that's the episode. So, travelogue. I got very mixed feelings about this one. On one hand, it was an entertaining watch and kind of a better version of Larry the Lummox. On the other hand, this not being Untamed World kind of hurt my interest in it and its identity overall. The visuals were also certainly interesting. Look at these models of the two. And that intro, there was like lines dubbed over which I have no idea why. It's not too bad, it didn't ruin the episode or anything, but episodes like this are kind of dependent on the visuals. That's one of the things that made the original Untamed World so great. And I thought this one was more on the boring side when it came to the visuals, and while the story was kind of captivating, it wasn't enough to make this episode anything more than a somewhat entertaining watch. Fun fact. This Graceland is a parody of Graceland, where Elvis Presley lived, which explains why he was there in the episode. All in all, an alright episode. Join me next week where we are kicking off season 5 with All Blue Nose, but first we got the season 4 First Thoughts video dropping on Sunday. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, folks.